Oh, no. When you tell you see it, whenever it cut off, push this button right here twice. All right, button right there. Right. All right, and then that, that means it's important, right? The yeah, red, yeah. red dot means yeah, it was gone. So I, I had a yeah. camera like this, so I was like, Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Uh, yes, go ahead and run the uh, what's the word commercial. Not the track lab commercial, but what's the word commercial. Then we're gonna come in right into that commercial. Yeah, it's your boy Big Boss to oversee. I'm right here, right now. I'm live in the building with Doppy. That's what I call her. Everybody can't call her that. That's my name. For her. That's my name for her. Everybody can't call her that. I'm the only one in the world that calls her Doppy. That's it. Every year. You better tell the air traffic or something. Are you performing at the I don't know yet. She's going to pop up on the ground. just happy to sit with my gown and my legs crossed. No. All right, all right. It's your boy, Big Boss, to oversee it. My man, Kenny King Ken. We got beautiful resilience to pull in the building, and we're right now talking to. P. Dot. What's the deal? I call it Doppy. Everybody can't call it that. That's my name. I get it. Yeah, Doppy. Don't that. call it that. You know what I'm saying? You see her in public. I don't want to hear nobody saying, hey, Doppy. Oh, man. You're probably about to open it up now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I want to talk about the uh, the logo that you got. You okay. know what I'm saying? First, that was a great record. That was real. That was Thank like on some grown up type of stuff. I could ride that. I could see summertime coming down Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? Neon lights. You know what I'm saying? I see the whole thing, the vision the for neon it. Neon lights, yeah, huh? You know, Caesar's Arena, huh? Yeah, that's just the tone. Yeah, neon lights set the tone for everything. That's what's up. Thanks, you. know, I really like that record. Um, But I want to talk about the logo that you got that I seen that you've been posting on everywhere. The, uh, uh, what's it called the dragon? Yeah, it's um Snapdragon. That's Snapdragon. Yeah, yeah. I um, you know, a lot of people say, "Pete, you be snapping." You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say you be spitting fire. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh. um, so the dragon. You know what I'm saying? A fire breathing dragon. Snapdragon. She wrapped around the microphone. You know, cause it's totally different. Like you know, when you see P. Dot just chilling. Like now, I'm totally different from the woman I I become on stage. On stage. You know, I'm totally different. Uh, I get very, very like almost like Sasha Fierce kind. Of, you know, everybody you got their alter ego, you do. and she definitely comes out. So that's like Snapdragon that comes out. Yeah, that's why if I'm someplace and I know if you there, <laughs> I can tell you about to perform because you are you are already a whole different person. You, I already know. You got to go up there and tear this boy down. You know. I'll be real. But I, I'm I'm so pleased and, and 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 privileged to be one of the people to see you uh, evolve and perform and things like that because. Thanks. You know, um, when you see female artists, most female artists are, mo are slept on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They underrated, you know what I'm saying? Things like that, you know what I'm saying? And I really do feel like you one of those artists mm -hmm. that Thank slept you. on. But your grind now, see what's happening now is people are going to have to respect the fact of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a lady, you're going to respect it, but I'm a spitter. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I admire about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just Thanks, taking it straight man, up. I appreciate it. Hey. <laughs> that's, 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 that's totally 100. Like, I, I totally agree. Like, she, just, she, she go on stage and she give her all, you know. Um, gotcha. and, and that's what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Giving her all. Yeah. And, 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 and it made the words today. We found it's communication. And, and that's what we're doing right now. We're communicating on, on what's going on. And, and you, we got the same thing in common. Like, we all, like, dealing with business together. And mm -hmm. these underground yeah. hip hop awards is going to be. Yes, yeah. underground yeah. hip hop awards. Yeah. So you're nominated. Yes. Correct. Yes. And what categories are you nominated in? Uh, best female artist. Best female artist. You should win that hands down. I don't hey, care. Well, it's that. a lot of it's a lot of good female artists out here as well. You know it what I'm is. saying? So you know we just see because that's hard. That's that's actually the, the underground hip hop awards is, is tough. It is. It's it tough is because no. it's, it's people vote from all over. It's not just Detroit. It's not just Michigan. Whoever see it on social media, they can vote. You know, so you never know. Right. How it's exactly. Turn out. Okay. Exactly. But you know, when I look and I see, like, that's a lot of female artists out there that I love. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, but it's another thing to for me to see that grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't come out. You know, you don't grind with your hand out. You know what I'm nah. saying? I'm coming to take what's mine. Period. That's it. 
ain't nothing to discuss. You know what I, I mean? I come from the era of the guerrilla market. Um, you know, it was no social media, it was no Instagram, it was no Facebook, it was no Twitter. Yeah. Uh, I was a part of a label, Live Action Entertainment. I was 15 years old. You know what I'm mm. saying? And they were in their 20s. They were 20s and 24s. They was in their 20s, and I was still a teenager. And you know, shouts out to them because they actually made me groom me into the artist that I am today, as far as lyric, lyric you know, word right, word play wise, and and my grind, and my ethics, and you know, it was none of this. It yeah. was none of no go live. It was none of that. You had to get out there with the posters. You had to get out there with the CDs. You had, you had to, to get that. out there. You had to do and that. you had to shake hands. You had to, you know, introduce yourself to the people. Like nowadays, you know, you get, you know, it's a little bit more lenient. They a little bit more lazy with it. And yeah. I still get that in me. You so got that hustle. that's why I still, you know, that's why I'm always trying to in your face. I'm in your face as much as possible because you can't just depend on. Instagram, Facebook, and stuff, because this can shut down any moment. What you going to have if this shut down? What you going to do? Exactly. And, you know, I just come from the guerrilla market, and I'm, I've never been a lazy artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I've never been the one that, you know, I like, I honestly like to earn my respect and earn everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. want people doing favors for me. I want them, if they, you know, like, honestly, when I first started, you know, it was, I was less accepted because I was the female that wouldn't show my body. You know, I wasn't yeah. out here showing nipples and butt and stuff and like, hey, you know, I got the shape. I'm killing them. You know what I'm saying? My face pretty. I was like, okay, I'm covering all the way up. You know what I'm saying? But and if you did, you probably would have killed them. You would have you killed them. Uh, people but out. I didn't want to do that because it you was so many that, ladies don't. that were already doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, I, I, and you know, I listen, I'm going to be real. My mother was alive and my mother did not play that. <laughs> my grandmother didn't play that. You know, yeah. you're not about to be disrespected and embarrassing the family talking about you from here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and I was raised totally different. And you know, we, you know, we, the women in my family are very classy, you know what I'm saying? But they're very aggressive and very hungry and go for what they want. And I was raised by a very strong woman, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And so I took that into my music and I took that into this entertainment career. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to still be that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to show other females and other, you know, it's a lot of girls that's young coming up. Like, look, you don't have to do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can have your own lane. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather go my way. I've always been the one to go against the grain of everything anyway. You know, yeah. I've never been a follower. i never be like, oh, that's what works. I'm going to auto tune me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I, I just yeah. go this way. You know, I right. barely listen to new music. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I listen to, I still pull out that old stuff. I still pull out the, the, the Scarface and still yeah. pull out the UGKs and, Spice and all of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm old school. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm really that. Like, that was real rap. That was real, real rap hip hop. To me. Yeah. I listen, still listen to Red Man and Method Ooh. Man and Far Side. And, you know what I'm saying? They don't know nothing about well, you that. Talking you talking know about I mean? it. So, you talk that talk. I, I go back to that, you know. Yeah. I go back to that. And I, I really like watch that serious grind. The Queen Latifah's, the Rod Diggers. You know what I'm saying? Man, Ryan, and, what up, you know, they used to be biting and snapping, you know so what I'm saying? Weird. So I'm like, that's that's what I like. I like that, you know. Right. I like the ones that get it off the mud. And what, what what's what what's new is is like what I what I noticed about you, you know what I'm saying, out and about, you know what I'm saying, what you know, um I was talking to a partner of mine said one of the things that we're we're focused on is the three things that make an artist, you know what I'm saying, um successful. You know, and analyzing that, you have all three of those characteristics and traits. You know what I'm saying? But what I want to ask you is, what prompts you to support and show love to everybody in the business? Like, you, like nobody represents the D harder than P-Dot to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. P-Dot, Big Go. You know, like, just yeah. the people that represent the D, and they, they, they really stand on that. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. Yeah. And they support everybody. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't care where you at, you support everybody. You know what I'm saying? What what is it what is that um what is it that um what the word am I looking for? Come on, y'all, what help me out. What word am I looking for? <laughs> like I mean why I mean, why do you do that? Like you know um, because, you know, it's only one me, it's only one you, it's only one you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's no competition. Like, we have enough of that. You know what I'm saying? We Come have on. enough of the crab in the barrel mentality. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we can go a lot further if we just put all our muscle together and we just work together. Like, and I see it happening. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I really just, you know, I, su I support the grind. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just the love of it. You know, the love of hip hop, the love of, of, of the grind and, and anybody that I see working so hard and grinding so hard, I'd be like, hell yeah, you know, I really love that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do that, do that, you know. And it's just, I mean, you support me, I support you. You know, like I said, it's only one me. You know, I'm not I'm not in competition with nobody but the person that I see in the mirror every day I wake up. I just focus on trying to be a better me today than I was yesterday, you know. 
and that's real talk, that's you know. That and once if everybody stop trying to compete so much and just do them, then it'll work. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I agree. I agree totally. One hundred percent that one. I agree. That's just it. You know, I just I just see bigger for us. You know, I mean, I don't know why, but I just see I love my city. You know, without Detroit. You Without what? Detroit, I wouldn't be one. We're going to have to make you some type of ambassador of Detroit <laughs> music, hip-hop or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we gotta I'm going to have to it. It's like in high school, you had the, you had the, king, you had the king and queen in high school. Yeah. we got to have the king and queen of Detroit now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, you got Trick Trick. You know, he's the mayor. You know definitely, what I'm saying? Like, definitely. you know, he, hey, you're not coming through here. You got to check in. You exactly. know what I'm saying? If you're not putting somebody from Detroit on, you can't do it and here. It's only, and it's only You know right. what I'm saying? And I really, I agree. Like, I you know, agree people like come through here all day getting million dollars out of we struggling you know what i'm saying we raising little money we taking our little bottles and junk like we want to go see them they yeah. don't think about us once they get their check they don't, put none of our you know, they, don't they don't they don't send no gloves and hats and scarves when it's cold frisk and brisk out here you know exactly. what i'm saying they don't think about us they just think about that money and you know i respect them for that like listen you gotta check in bro you so need shout to, out to the flies though to the no fly no zone, fly zone yeah. you know no what i'm saying yeah. and, and i'm glad you know it took somebody to stand oh, up yeah. uh, you know he catch a lot of he catch a lot of a lot of heat for that but I respect that. You I know respect what I'm it as well. It's good somebody too, stand up for over. us. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They will. You know, people, they like Detroit. Had it not been for the no fly zone, I'm telling you, they'd be still running over Detroit right now. Mm -hmm. Real talk, you they'd know. Be running us over. So, you know what I mean? So, shout out to the no fly zone. Yeah, shout out to the no fly zone. So, Pete, what about the, um, do you got any, like, because I, I hear you. I hear you for real. Like, you you, you real interesting to to us and to, and to the people out here that's listening. Yeah. Um, you know, is there any books that you got to man you want to you want to make it come out with because i know how to say you're a great um, writer uh yeah um i've been really really praying i've been i've been through a lot in my life you know um and i've been really really praying before my mother had passed away she had told me i need to write a book um mm. but i didn't know what i was going to name it you know what i'm saying so and i didn't know if i wanted to be that transparent and open up and let everybody into my world but um i've been praying and like just the other day, you know what I'm saying? Another friend of mine was like, Girl, you need to you need a movie, F a book, you yeah. need a movie, like <laughs> P, you've been through so much and I'm like, I'm gonna do both and then somebody else was like, No, you need to do all three, you need to play, you need to book in. You know what I'm saying? I've yeah. been through a lot and um yes, I'm coming out it's gonna be called 